In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the lengthening diacritic and when to use it. In English, we can hold phonemes for a longer duration, and we may want to encode that into our transcription. When we say um, the words heat and heed, you'll notice that the vowel is longer in heed. He heed. We sometimes lengthen vowels before a voiced phoneme in the coda position. We can show that with a lengthening diacritic. We also might use it if we um, are holding a vowel for to call someone. So if I said, mom, uh, the vowel was longer, I can show that with the lengthening diacritic which is placed after the phoneme that's lengthened. I could also kind of excessively lengthen. I could go, mom. And in that case, I could actually double the diacritic and that shows excessive lengthening. Lengthening also happens with consonants. In some languages uh, like Amharic, this can happen within a word. The word wana in Amharic means swimming, but wana means main. In that language, the length of the consonant is contrastive. That's not the case in English. If I say a word like hammer, even though it's spelled with uh, as mm in the conventional spelling, there's only one m phoneme, hammer. Um, we do, however, have this lengthening at word boundaries. So if I said the words fish shop, fish shop, I could hold the phoneme and say fish shop. There, the two different um, occurrences of sh merged into one long um, lengthened phoneme. I could also do it with a stop. I could say, bad day, bad day. I can't hold the release of a stop because the release is um, sudden and complete. It happens all at once. But I can hold the part before when um, pressure is building. So what I'm doing is actually holding the silence, bad day. Um, I also want to tell you what isn't lengthening. When should we, um, when do we not use it? If I were to say Cape May, Cape May, Cape May, I hold the place of articulation, but there are two different phonemes, Cape May. If I were going to use the lengthening diacritic there, I would have to combine them into one lengthened phoneme. So you would either get cape pay or came may, but we didn't have that. We had cape may, two different phonemes. Same thing with told tom, told tom. You have two different phonemes there that just happen to be the same uh, place of articulation. Uh, likewise, Wish Susie, wish, wish Susie. Um, similar uh, manner of articulation, uh, both are fricatives, uh, both are voiceless, uh, but they're made in two different places um, and um, it's not just one phoneme. We didn't say wish Susie and we didn't say wish Susie. Um, so uh, when you look at the lengthening diacritic, Think about vowels being produced longer than expected uh, or uh, consonant doubling uh, that can occur at word boundaries.